But as the AFL celebrates its 150th year with the Hall of Fame game tonight, the players and coaches who aren't involved took the chance to get back to some grassroots footy. They call it amateur football, but at the Hampton Rovers, you quickly learn it's a serious business. And you see Tiggy and his hand up, don't kick it to him, kick it to space. The Rovers are playing fierce rivals Ormond for the Buxton Cup and Mick Malthouse's son Kane is in the side. With Collingwood not playing, Mick and former Carlton coach David Parkin have a rare chance to visit the club. We lose contact with the reality sometimes. AFL footballers don't just get lobbed on your doorstep. They come through junior ranks, they come through some clubs like this, um, they end up with clubs like this. Now without this, I don't think we can exist. I like to be constantly reminded where my roots were and, and the VAFA were my roots and my son's roots in footy, so it's a great day to participate in. The Hampton Rovers aren't the only football club to be paid a special visit this weekend. AFL players and coaches have taken the chance to visit their old clubs all throughout Melbourne and around Australia. Among those, Richmond's Jack Revolt, who went back to Tasmania to watch his younger brother Harry play for Clarence. While the league's oldest player, 36-year-old Robert Harvey, went back to where it all began, at the Seaford Tigers. It's good to come back and, and you know, wind the clock back and, and, and see the old faces. Tom Wren, 7 News.